bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. 35% of 1,000 smokers surveyed say that they throw an average of five butts per pack just out on the sidewalk and just throw it down. And we're going to talk about that next on Newsmakers. Hello again, and thanks for joining us. I'm Jen Boyette, and with me is Cynthia Philo. She is the president and CEO of the Old City District in Philadelphia. And, of course, we're talking about their cigarette butt litter prevention campaign. So nice to have you with us Thank today. Thank you very much for having me. Sure. Now, I'm sure a lot of us have witnessed this happen even and seen just somebody smoking and then they just toss it on the ground. Absolutely. Not mm -hmm. only do you see it where people are, smokers are walking on the sidewalk, but you also see it where people tend to empty their ashtrays in places that they shouldn't. Right. So we're trying to educate smokers to make them more responsible to put their cigarette butts into proper receptacles so that they don't cause pollution to our, our area. Right, and apparently a lot of them think it's not a problem, that maybe it's biodegradable and just That's right. disappears on the wind somewhere. It's amazing. When smokers are surveyed, they don't think that they're littering because they think that the actual cigarette is somehow going to just go away as part of nature. But in reality, 90% of the filters are made of plastic, and plastic does not biodegrade in a very easy fashion. The other thing, too, is they end up in our waterways, and they, they clog streams and... In reality, it's the largest amount of litter that we have in the United States and worldwide. Right, and not to mention all these forest fires and fires on the side of the road because somebody threw their cigarette out the window and dry It can dry be brush. very dangerous, right. especially in areas where you go out, out west, or even if you see it in areas that maybe it's not that dry. If something is left to be burning, you can cause yourself a, a real problem. You're right. Right, and we're not telling people not to smoke with this segment, but to please do something about it. That's because right. Just to make the area more beautiful, which is what Old City is trying to do. That's correct. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get smokers to be responsible smokers. Most smokers do want to be that, so we're allowing them the opportunity to do so with certain things. Education, number one. Uh, we're giving out pocket ashtrays, and we're also uh, giving out little receptacles that you can put into your car because most cars don't have the ash receptacle anymore. Right, and you brought one with you today. I did. It's, it's right. very lovely. It's, it's for yours to keep, and if you don't smoke, we want you to give it to someone who does. And what you can do is, after you're finished, right closes up and you can dispose of your ashes in a proper way. Right, and it's got a spinny thing on the top so you can close it. Even. You can close right. it, the smoke doesn't come out of it, mm -hmm. you don't smell it, it's, it's great. Right, and it does say Keep America Beautiful on here, so I hear you're having help with this campaign. Absolutely. Right. The Old City District, along with uh, Fairmont Park, University City District, are working with Keep America Beautiful, the Philip Morris Corporation, as well as Keep Pennsylvania and Philadelphia Beautiful in order to do just that educate and make sure that we decrease our litter where, where it concerns cigarette butts. Right. I noticed you have some billboards up along the uh, highways along yes. 95, I believe. Uh, right. They are along 95. We have seven uh, billboards that basically show a cigarette butt that is put out on the sidewalk, and it says, this is litter too. Right. Because most people don't think of cigarette butts as being litter, but it is litter, and we want to make sure that that is in the mind of someone that's smoking so that they will say, you know something, I don't want to litter. Right. That's not what I want to do. And they're going to put out the cigarette and make sure that it doesn't go onto our sidewalks. Right. And have you noticed an increase in cigarette butts on the sidewalks now that Philadelphia is smoke-free? People have to go outside to smoke, so it might be getting worse. Absolutely. And, and part of this program is to reduce that amount. We have over 100 restaurants within the Old City area, and all of them are smoke-free. So as you said, all the smokers go outside. This is our second year as part of the program. Last year, we were able to reduce our cigarette butt litter on the sidewalks by 37% doing this particular program of education and handing uh, these items out to people. So we're hoping to get that up into the 40s and then next year into 50s and, and all along those, uh, those numbers so that we can really make an impact on our, what our trash situation is on the sidewalks. Right, and I guess University City? University City, it? Fairmont Park, as well as the City of Philadelphia is part of this program. Okay, wonderful. Great idea. Thank you so much for being with us today. Hey, no problem. Thank you. And thanks for watching. This hour's newsmaker has been Cynthia Philo. She's the president and CEO of the Old City District in Philadelphia. And I'm Jen Boyette for Newsmakers, seen exclusively on Comcast Cable.